I have just passed the 15,000 mile mark on my Tesla Model 3. Got some cool features and benefits, but also wanna talk about some things that concern me a little bit too. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Tesla Therapy. As always, my name is William D. Bacari. You can find me on Twitter at The Agitated Rock. You can find all of us studios content everywhere at usinfinity.com. Also, we have a Facebook page that's Us Infinity. Go check us out there. On Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram, you can follow us at all of us studios. We live stream on Twitch every Friday and Saturday night twitch.tv slash all of us studios and we also live stream Tuesday mornings and Wednesday at noon so check us out for them guys I have just passed my 15,000 mile mark on my Tesla Model 3. And I want to talk to you guys, not super in depth because there are a million videos out there about features and benefits and gripes and grievances and all that sort of stuff. I wanted to keep this short and concise and talk to you about how it affects me because this is Tesla therapy and how I think it's going to create a momentum in the, in the world to be able to have people understand and hope that they understand the significance behind an all electric transportation future. So real quick, I'm gonna keep it really simple and concise for you guys today. Some of the features and benefits. Um, autopilot's amazing. You have to be a good driver. You have to understand the rules of the road. You have to be a defensive driver, but the tool set of autopilot is fantastic. If your commute, let's say you're going to work or coming from work, if your commute's anywhere between 25 minutes to an hour, an hour and a half, and you have highway driving that takes up any portion of that, for that highway driving, you can throw it in autopilot. It's great. The car drives itself. Now, I'm not saying abandon all ambition and, and, and awareness. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is take a load off for a second, get a drink of water, keep your eyes on the road, understand what's going on, but also utilize the features and benefits of the car to help you relax a little bit. That's why it's there. It's to make driving more enjoyable. Um, another really awesome feature that I like in this car that makes me feel better is the ability to have basically this sporty-esque mid-size luxury vehicle that responds a lot like a sports car. The steering is really phenomenal. The turn radius is really tight. Um, it makes you feel amazing behind the wheel of the car. And so for my psyche, for me personally, that does wonders for me. So that's why I love driving this car. It's why I love talking to you guys in this vehicle because I feel comfortable. You know, this is my home away from home, so to speak. Um, so I want to get into some minor complaints and grievances. Um, like I said, there's YouTube videos out there that talk about them in detail and in depth. I'm going to do it from my perspective. The first one is the turn signal. I am not used to the two point click turn signal system. I didn't have a car that had that beforehand. So it's very new to me. In my opinion, I think it's a little faulty because the turn signal stays on longer than you want it to. And then when you try to turn it off and correct it the other way, you usually, well, 50% of the time, end up signaling back the other way, which you didn't want to do. Now they have a feature in there where, let's say I'm making a left turn, I execute the left turn, I'm out of the left turn, but my signal is still on. I can click down left again to turn it off, but I'm so instinctual that I just want to click it up to the right, and then, like I said, 50% of the time, I end up turning the right signal on. Is it a big deal? For me, it's annoying. For everyone else, I don't know. I can't speak for everyone else. The second and last thing that I want to talk about is rattling, interior rattling. Um, the seat belts, the driver's side and the passenger side have this unique kind of rattle once you get over about 60 or 65 miles an hour on a road that's not super duper smooth. And it kind of takes away from that luxury experience, which is kind of frustrating because you're in a luxury vehicle. You want to experience the ambiance of that and, and enjoy the quiet nature of what this vehicle provides, but then there's a little bit of a rattling noise. 
So it takes you out of the element. Like I said, it's both on the driver and the passenger side. It's a little bit more noticeable on the uh, passenger side, but something I wish they could fix. Last thing has to do with rattling as well too. It's in the steering column itself. Uh, same same culprit. Once you get above like you know even even lower speeds like 35 or 40 miles an hour on a rougher road, it'll start to jostle. And I can kind of solve that by just putting my hand down here and holding it as we're driving. But that's not exactly number one safe. And number two, I know the car is not designed to necessarily be having the driver hold on to the steering column while they're driving. So a simple fix might be a rubber band or something to put it over it. But it's those two things that kind of annoyingly take you out of it that shouldn't. Um, and so I wish they could maybe fix the steering. I don't know if they could really fix the steering wheel. Um, that's going to be hard. These are really not software updated related things they are more, they're more technical and, and, um, and, uh, hardware based, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do. I'll take it into the Tesla service shop and see what they say. I'm sure I'm not the first one that has to deal with these things, but I just wanted to give you guys kind of a very honest, cohesive feel of why I like this car. Some of the complaints and gripes and grievances that I have as well too, but the pros definitely outweigh the cons. I mean, there's no question about it. So as always, I appreciate the heck out of you guys being here. I love you guys. As always, you can find us at all of us studios. Um, throw a like up on this video if you like it. If you don't like it, do the opposite. Put a dislike down. Leave us a comment. Talk to me about it. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. I'd love to get into dialogue with you guys.